Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas! It's day one of Vlogmas, so obviously we have to start off with a bang. So in today's video, I'm going to be creating this really, really stunning, amazing look. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I'm kind of leaning towards hashtag put a thali on it or hashtag put a rig on it. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the face and I'm going to be using my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade Tan and just buffing that all over my face it's super full coverage but first i need to tell you guys something really really important and the reason why i decided to record this look at like nine o'clock at night so safi light is having this amazing amazing giveaway that i just really really wanted to enter they just needed you to upload a really bomb selfie and tag them and have all of the people you follow tag them so I would really appreciate if you guys could go onto this picture on my Instagram feed and spam me in the comments section. So just hashtag selfie wave and also tag selfie light in the comment section and let's see what a big wave the slay squad can create so thank you in advance to everybody who is willing to spam me moving back onto the face i'm gonna go ahead and just conceal the under eye area and i'm also going to highlight the center of my face so i'm going to be highlighting in the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose i like to do the tip of my nose as well because it just creates a nice button nose and then i'm also going to be highlighting my upper lip and chin And then blending that all out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is honestly my favorite blending sponge of life. Like, it's amazing. And anybody else feel like concealer is life-changing? Like, for me, it legit is. Then going in with my Yardley Absolute Translucent Powder. And I'm going to be lightly baking all the areas that I've highlighted. And obviously baking a little bit more under the eyes to just catch any fallout that we may have from the eyeshadow. Next going in with this medium tone brown shade and I'm going to start dusting that on the outer corner of my eye and into my crease. And adding some light definition to the crease. Not forgetting taking it on my lower lash line. And then going in with this reddish brown shade, I'm going to add a little bit more definition and depth on the outer corner of the eye and also into the crease. Don't forget we want to take all of these colors all the way from inner corner to outer corner of the eye because we are going to be cutting the crease later on and we do need some definition in the crease. Next, taking this really unique shade, it's like a perfect cross between a black, a brown, and a grey shade. And I'm going to be using this to add a lot more smokiness and depth on the outer corner of the eye and the crease as well. And also taking this on my lower lash line. Next, going in with my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner Pencil. And I'm going to be lining my lower lash line and also dragging this onto my lower lashes if that makes sense so just kind of dragging it very sloppily if that's even a word <laughs> and then i'm going to be taking a pencil brush and i'm literally going to be taking that reddish brown shade and that darker blackish brownie gray shade and i'm going to be smoking out my lower lash line taking my mac soft ochre paint pot and I'm going to be using this to cut the crease. And then going in with this beautiful rose golden shade from the Juvia's Place, the Nubian palette. I am going to be packing this all over my lid and I'm not wetting my brush because we're going to be going in with some glitter later on, just now in two seconds. <laughs> 
So going in with this glitter palette and taking this like bronzy, coppery kind of glitter shade and I'm literally just going to be packing this on the center of my lid. I'm taking my time with this because I don't want to have too much of fallout with the glitter. And also these glitter palettes are quite decent because literally they stick onto your eyelids like a dream. You don't need any glue whatsoever. It's amazing actually. Then taking this champagne-y sort of glitter shade. It's actually really pretty and I'm going to be kind of like ombreing this glitter towards the inner part of my eye but not really meeting it towards the inner part of my eye because I still want that rose gold to pop through, you know? And I had a little bit of a dance there, but don't judge me. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my Inglot Gel Liner in the number 77. And obviously, I'm using some Duraline to just help me glide over that glitter. And I'm drawing some fierce wings. Next, taking my Wet n Wild lash renegade mascara and i'm just going to be applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes moving back onto the face i'm going to be using my physician's formula bronze booster and just bronzing up and bringing some dimension back into the face especially after all that coverage from that milani foundation I'm bronzing my forehead, my cheek, my nose, my jawline, the usual. And then going in with my LA Girl Press Powder in the shade Coco. And I'm going to be contouring my face using my Switch Beauty G31 Contour Brush. And then going in with my Real Technique Setting Brush. And I'm literally just going to be dusting off all the excess bake. Then, for the stars of the show, I am taking my Beauty by Benazir lashes in the style Mia and I'm going to be sticking them onto my eye walls. I love these lashes. I spoke about them in my November favorites. They are honestly my fave. Then going in with my Revlon blush. This is in the shade Sultry Sienna and also breaking it down just a little. I'm going to be applying some blush onto my cheeks. Going in with my favorite, my Kiki Beauty Rose Juice Setting Spray. I am literally just going to spritz this all over my face before I go in with highlight. I have a direct link to their website if you guys are interested in purchasing some Kiki Beauty. I'm using my sponge to just press the setting spray into my skin. And then taking my Bay Champagne Pop. I know I said Fenty is my Bay, Fenty Trophy Wife, but this is also my Bay. And I am going to be highlighting the tops of my cheeks sides of my temples, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin. You guys know the drill with the whole situation. I'm taking a smaller blending brush and I'm going to more, in more detail, highlight my nose area. Next, taking this stunning color. This is the shade Vixen by Huda Beauty. I almost forgot what I was going to say. And this is just beautiful. It's such a beautiful burgundy shade and I'm honestly obsessed. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my lips. Sorry if I'm blocking. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to comment on my post using the hashtag SelfieWave as well as tag selfie light sa and i will see you guys in my next video which is tomorrow